Harold was originally a human born in 2072, five years before the Great War. For his protection, little five-year-old Harold was locked within Vault 29 when the bombs began to drop. When the vault finally opened sometime after Harold had already grown into a full-grown man, he, along with the rest of Vault 29's inhabitants, made their way into the wasteland. Harold began a successful career as a traveling merchant, eventually becoming a big shot trader in the hub. He began to notice an increase in the frequency of mutant animal attacks on his caravans. Frustrated, Harold decided to personally deal with this problem by leading an expedition to the Mariposa military base, which seemed to be the origin of many of the mutant creatures. Harold's group, which also included a doctor from the hub by the name of Richard, Harold is... special. One gift, or curse depending on how you look at it, that his mutation granted Harold was a largely increased lifespan, as he was still alive and kicking by the year 2161. However, by that point, Harold was very old, slightly cranky, and with a tendency to ramble on. Harold was finding himself overwhelmed by Bob's growth, and he actually became rooted to the ground where he stood, unable to move an inch. Bob had completely overtaken Harold. Eventually, Harold was discovered by several people who began worshipping him as some sort of tree god, creating a small cult known as the Tree Minders. Bob's seeds had also begun to blossom, causing many plants to grow all around Harold, resulting in the creation of a grove which the Tree Minders dubbed Oasis. Harold, however, was extremely unhappy, as if being stuck in one place forever, barely able to move, with nothing to do and no one to talk to, 
Well, except Bob, of course. Wasn't bad enough, now poor Harold had to deal with a cult of crazies who somehow simultaneously worshipped him as a god, yet didn't seem to really listen to a word he had to say. individuals in the entire wasteland. For now, anyway.